Sorry. <laughs> we start in the bad way. Late. Sorry. Tom said to me two o'clock, and I said, no, we go at half past one. My fault. My fault. <laughs> oh, it's Tom's fault. My fault. <laughs> Afternoon, everybody. Uh, we'll do uh, three sections today: a broadcast section, a dailies, and a short Sundays at the end. Paul, do you want to get us underway? I saw. Hi, Enzo. Enzo, ahead of your first Premier League game in charge here, is the team where you wanted to be, and what would success look like for Chelsea this season? Mm, yeah, for sure, we are we are doing well since day one. Uh, we are improving things. Uh, now for sure it's just you know we started just one month ago so it's too early to see the team in the way I would like to see but in the same moment I'm quite happy because in terms of process I think the team is ahead where I expected my expectation so that's it's important but uh, yeah for me the good feeling is that uh, game after game and day after day I can see that uh, the team is improving and in this moment is the most important thing. And the success part, what, what would be a good season? Uh, for me, a good season means that I can see uh, game after game, month after month team that uh, is improving. And for sure, with timing, we are going to to close a little bit the gap between us and uh, the teams that they are ahead of us in this moment. What players are you missing for the game on Sunday? In terms of injury or in terms of... Uh, no, no, we have just one injury, that is Rhys James. The rest, they are all fit and they're going to be all of them available. Will Conor Gallagher be involved? No, Conor is back. He is training in this moment a little bit apart. He's doing some medical uh, test and some uh, training and he won't be involved for, for this game also because you know better than me, is in this moment he's trying to find a solution with the club, so we see what's happened. What happens next with him and, and how difficult the situation is that to have a player so close to a loan and suddenly back at the training room? Listen, I said already many times since we start, unfortunately these kind of things happen every summer, sometimes at Chelsea, sometimes at Liverpool, City, Arsenal, uh, Bournemouth, Newcastle. All the clubs during the summer, they have some problems, unfortunately, because uh, players that they want to leave, clubs that they want players to leave. So it's always can happen that you have some kind of problems. But at the end, every time finish with all of them happy. So hopefully for Connor in this moment that, uh, that his situation is going to finish where the player, the club, the manager, all, all the people involved, they're going to be happy. And a lot of talk at the moment around Victor Rossum and Jean Felix as well. <coughs> In terms of that kind of forward player, are you, do you still feel like you need that forward player? Do you feel like you're close to bringing in a, a forward player? No, the, the only thing I can say is that uh, I have to say always the same. I know that, uh, but uh, they are not our players. So it's not correct, I think, to talk about a Napoli player or about uh, who is the other one, Atletico Madrid player. In this moment, the club knows exactly what I think in terms of what we need in case we need to do something. And hopefully before we finish the window transfer, we can, we can, we can, we can bring some, some player. Just a final one for the young on Manchester City coming to Stamford Bridge. What, what a first game that is. Uh, does it give you any sort of advantage knowing Pep Guardiola and his methods? Uh, no, absolutely, because I said many times after eight, nine years together, you can do so many different things. So Pep is not a manager that is always doing the same. He's always changing and with us will be exactly the same. So it will be, will be a tough game. But as you said, exciting. Start the Premier, start against the champion and we see. Alex. Hi, Just on that, on that City game on Sunday, how big an opportunity is it for your Chelsea side to, to make a statement at the start of the season? It's always, uh, it's always a good moment. It's always an opportunity to show ourselves for sure against the champion. Uh, that more than against the champion, it's more, uh, it's against a club that they are working with the same manager in the last eight, nine years. And this is a huge advantage. The same thing happened with uh, some different club, for instance, like Arsenal. 
but uh, we're going to try to use all our game to be to try to win games and to make us happy and also the fans. The last five Chelsea managers haven't won that opening game, so a chance for you to change. <laughs> so in the worst scenario, will be six. <laughs> no. no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna try to to do our best to win games. I said already since we start many times. For me, this is my personal opinion. The big difference in this moment between us and other team that in this moment they are dominating English football is just a matter of time in terms of uh, there are clubs that they work with the same manager five years, uh, nine years, eight years, and here we work with the same manager one month. So the, the huge difference is only about that for me. For sure, with timing, we're gonna close the gap. Uh, and hopefully can happen very soon. You just mentioned time. Pep Guardiola was speaking this morning. He said, if they give you time, this is going to work. Is that what you're asking for from this club? Uh, yes, sometimes sounds like excuse because every manager is talking about timing. I know that timing in football is, is, is difficult. But at the end, I think uh, in our case, because of the process, because of the idea, I'm 100% sure that uh, this team is getting better game after game. And with timing, we're going to close the cup with, uh, in this moment, City, Arsenal, these kind of clubs that they are dominating in English football. John? Hi, John from BBC. How you, you talk about time and you talk about your team improving as they go along. So do you think you, you're going to have to ask the fans to be you know, maybe a little bit patient as to start with? Yeah, for sure we need uh, their support in any case because... Uh, when you are inside the pitch and you can hear your fans that they are behind the team, it's always a big support. It's like, uh, we said many times, it's like 12 players, you know. So for sure, if they support us and they be patient, we're going to pay back, I think you say. We're going to pay back with the performance and with the results. I suppose in football, especially here, you don't always get the time that ideally you would like. So is it how important is it to get off to a, you know, a really good start here? A good start is always important for us as a Chelsea or for a different club. So we are looking for a good start, for sure, 100%. But uh, I'm, I'm quite confident and uh, relaxed in terms of, uh, I don't know, if, if in terms of time, because I can see that the team is improving. And this is the only thing that I can control. I can control just the team. I cannot control what the people or people. Uh, people around the club, they think I can just control my team, my players, improve them, improve the, the team. And this is for me the main, the main target. How have you found it since you've got here? You talk about the team and your players, and we all know you've got a very big squad of players here. How difficult is it to manage that? Uh, we have been 20 days, I think, almost in America with uh, 28, 29 players. So it's been quite uh, good in terms of manage the squad. Now we are the guys that they are not involved in our squad. They are training apart. So it's quite... Uh, uh, at the moment, it's not, uh, it's not difficult. Uh, as I said, also because if I start to think that I have 43 players, probably it's not a good thing. I just think, I just finished the session. Now I'm already thinking about tomorrow's session. It's the only thing I can, I like to do. I like to control. Because then if you start to think about 43 players, uh, manager, no time, this kind, I think don't worth it. So, I suppose you can't last one, John. Yeah. Do, you th do you think before the end of the month you're going to have to get rid of players, going to have to leave, go on loan or whatever? A big, maybe what, 10 players maybe to trim down the squad? Uh, this question is for the <laughs> Paul and Lawrence that they are there trying to find solution for this kind of players. I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, the guy in charge to find solution for long players, otherwise they have to pay me a double. <laughs> Alison. <laughs> Hi Enzo, Alison Benham, nice to meet you Excellent. and welcome. Um, as a manager you have to get a balance between playing to your players' strengths but also implementing your own philosophy. Mm -hmm. How hard has it been to kind of find that balance? Uh, no, not hard here because uh, one of the reasons why I accept Chelsea for sure is because it's one of the best, biggest clubs in the world, but also because for me the squad is very good. I had the opportunity to analyze the squad when we faced them in FA Cup. 
and I had the opportunity to analyze deeply the, the squad when the, when I had the first contact with the club. So the squad for me is full of talent. It's a very good squad and they are perfect in the way I, I like to play. So this is also one of the reasons why uh, I'm here is because I'm convinced that the players we have, they are already good. They can be even better improving and I'm quite uh, confident on that. I know that you're very open about your tactics and I know you've spoken to the press and you've done videos about the way you like to play. Would you say that you're, you're quite rigid? I don't, I don't mean that in a negative way, but are you able to be flexible and adaptable or, or do you think you want the players to, to play the way that you want them to play? Which side of that? No, we are, since probably from outside it's more difficult to recognize, but since we start, we play on the ball, I mean, when we have the ball, already in two different way. For the first time against Inter, we play completely in different way compared to the previous friendly game. And off the ball, we already press in six friendly game for different way. So we try to adapt, depends how the, the, the other team, they press us or they attack us, we try to adapt and to find a solution. But we are not uh, going to play always in one way with the same... For instance, Malo is playing right back, left back, uh, inside, against sit in the friendly game, he was higher. Uh, Christo was playing as a nine and then pocket and then winger. So we try to we try to put the players in position where they can give their best. Roman. I am the Roman, uh, yeah. Welcome to Chelsea. Just a quick one. Um, I think you were a Man City when Haaland came. And in Haaland came, how much or did the City's game have to change? And how much does Chelsea's game have to change if you have maybe Christopher Mkoko playing as a nine or Nicolas Jackson playing as a nine or Mark Kiri playing as a nine? Yeah, for sure, if you have uh, Nicolas playing as a nine or Christo, that means that you are looking for something different. You cannot ask the same two different, completely different players. In terms of Alan, I think... Uh, we try, we try, they, they try to adapt when Alan arrive a little bit, but also Alan was completely open mind to adapt himself to the way uh, City was playing. And then just finally on Rhys James, the injury, is it the same injury from last season? Or <laughs> That's a fantastic question. <laughs> I don't know. I, I know that he was injury, but uh, he had different problems. I don't know now if it's exactly the same, to be honest. I don't know. Rob? I am though. Um, Chelsea had so many issues with injuries last season, players missing huge portions of the season. How have you found the kind of physical condition and match readiness of the squad, given how many of them have really, really broken up season yeah. last year? Depends a little bit also the injury, because sometimes when it's, for instance, it's a kick, it's not uh, because the training is no good or it's because you are unlucky, kick and you got injury. So it depends a little bit the kind of injury. The only thing I can say, I don't know, I was last year. I was not here, so it's not my my duty or my job to judge. The only thing I can say is that in one month, 35 days that we start, we had just one injury problem that is wrist. Unfortunately, he, he got injury just two, three minutes before we changed him. Otherwise, we avoid that, but uh, happened. And this is the only thing I can say. Sometimes it depends. The, the, the injury can be for different way. Uh, but in this moment, we are manage the situation quite good. We are trying also to manage players. For instance, the other day against Inter, uh, Cristo was not playing from the start. The reason why is because he played so many minutes already in precision compared to last year. The same was... Wes, that he didn't play the previous game, but he played against Inter. So we are trying to manage also this kind of situation in terms of injury. Has there been much discussion internally with yourself and, and you know, the medical staff about why last season was so bad injury-wise? Why mm. it was so bad? No, to be honest. I just, we had a meeting with the medical. I explained to them the way I like to work. I know or I have all the... Uh, complete picture from last year in terms of injury but uh, because I was not here I'm not you know sitting and judge why or it's it's a new year new, so I, we sat together I explained there the way we work and the way we like to manage players and then what's happened last year I don't know we got time for two more in broadcast David A and then Bobby 
There have been a lot of Italian managers here at Chelsea, and are for, you're following them in, in their footsteps. I'm wondering if you reached out to any of them for advice or. Uh, yeah, I spoke with uh, I spoke with Claudio Ranieri, and the reason why was also because I spoke with him before I start the season with the Leicester. We won, so when I signed to Chelsea, I called him immediately just to see if he's the same one. And then I spoke with the Carlo Ancelotti when we play against Madrid for a while. Uh, yeah, with, uh, with, with both of them, both they were talking about the club. Fantastic about their experience here. Uh, fantastic. So, yeah. And what does it mean for you to have the chance to be Chelsea manager, to start your Premier League career as a manager? No, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's it's a good opportunity. I feel completely relaxed. Uh, when I met the club, I was, as I said, completely sure, especially because of the, the squad. I was not, uh, I was an anxious, anxious because it's a huge club, but in the same time, I was relaxed because I was, uh, yeah, I was just, uh, meeting with them. Everything was fine. And then we met, I met them three, four times before we, took the final decision and uh, meeting after meeting was always better feeling. Poppy. <clears throat> um, how is Pedro Neto? Is he ready to start? Yeah, Pedro, yeah. Phys uh, physicality, physical condition is good. The only problem that we are with Pedro is that he's here in the last two days, three days, so he needs a little bit to understand the way we want to play, but for sure he's fit, for sure will be with us. We see from the start on the bench, we see that, but he's completely fit. Cameras off, please.